I'm gonna say, go get it. And I'm gonna toss one back and forth. Go get it over the bed. You can just create the pattern first. So if your puppy doesn't know how to follow treats back and forth yet, just create that pattern. But go get it is an alternate reward marker. So when my puppy turns and orients towards me, go get it. When their feet land on the bed, so he's coming back this way, go get it. And I do a cookie toss off that direction. Go get it. All it means to go get it. Yeah. <laughs> All, when I say the words, let me do it again. Let's see if I can get him to come back around this way. When I say the words, go get it, I'm just marking the moment he's doing the right thing and telling him, go get it. He gets to chase his reward, which is super fun for him. So I say it, go get it for him putting his feet on, on his uh, mat, which makes that more fun, more reinforcing. So when we're doing this cookie jar game, what we're trying to do is we're trying to get a puppy who can go get it, go to their place cue, go get it on cue, no matter where it is around you. Go get it. So I'm gonna start saying place. Oops, he didn't eat that treat. That was not a good time to say the place cue. Yes, go get it. And same thing again, he's off over that direction. Place, go get it. So now, place, go get it. It's starting to look like I'm sending him to a spot. Place, go get it. Even though the spot's right in front of me. Last one, buddy. Place, go get it. All done. Hi, all done. Because when we are working on place, we need to be able to send our dogs to their spot whether you're two feet away or 20 feet away. And then we want them to stay there while we add duration and distance and distraction and difficulty and while we groom their paws and they experience new noises and they do all sorts of weird and wonderful things. But we will get there. This exercise is just about being able to send your puppy to a targeted destination spot. Yay!